Good morning, and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Thursday, December 7th, and I'm Owen Cook. At least three people were killed in a shooting at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas yesterday. According to NBC News, the shooting prompted the closure of the campus for the rest of the week to give people time to recover from the event. Those students were allowed back to their housing. The suspect died in a confrontation with police. While the shooter's identity has not been released, sources say he was a former college professor in his 60s who had connections to colleges in Georgia and North Carolina. Taylor Swift, the internationally famous singer and songwriter, has been named Time Magazine's 2023 Person of the Year. According to Time Magazine, Swift began her career at the age of 14 with professional songwriting and debuted with her self-titled album in 2016 at 16, and has since become one of the world's most influential musical artists. In Time's interview with her, she spoke about her troubles in the industry, saying, quote, I have been raised up and down the flagpole of public opinion so many times in the last 20 years, end quote. She also said in reference to being awarded this title, quote, it feels like the breakthrough moment of my career happening at 33, end quote. Last Sunday, the college football playoff committee announced the teams that will play for a national championship, sparking debate among fans. According to ESPN, the playoff committee granted playoff berths to Alabama, Washington, Michigan, and Texas, while controversially leaving out the undefeated Florida State. Florida State is the first undefeated team from a Power Five conference to be left out of the playoffs since 2014. The search for a missing upstate college student continues. According to Spectrum News, Matthew Grant, a student at Rochester Institute of Technology, went missing about two weeks ago. He was last seen by surveillance at a gas station near Syracuse after leaving his off-campus home in a Rochester suburb. The search has expanded into the Syracuse and Adirondack regions of New York State. That's all for the GHS Reporter today. I'm Owen Cook. Today's a C-Day. Have a good day.